Wedding bells are ringing across the tri state area. It is wedding season, and if you're planning a wedding, attending one, or you just like seeing all the glitz and glamour, the city is the place to be. It is New York Bridal Week, and it is just as exciting as Fashion Week. Here to give us a preview is Rachel Leonard, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what Bridal Week is. Bridal Week is uh, stores come in from all over the world to shop and shop the wedding dresses for the following season, which is spring, summer, uh, 2017. Next year. Next year. And all the press comes in and we highlight, uh, the press highlights what's all the newest trends and the stores come and purchase for the upcoming wedding season. What is one of the biggest trends that you're seeing? I, I'm overwhelmed by how much I'm seeing the trend is nature, spring, the new awakening. Um, and we're seeing lots of blossoms and uh, soft pink colors and touches of pastels and embroideries. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very beautiful. And also we have other trends such as pants and um, just airy, light, effortless dresses. And you brought some models that exhi exhibit the trends that you're talking Absolutely. about. So let's bring them out, starting with Carlotta. Carlotta is wearing a Mira Zwillinger dress. Um, and it's very soft. You know, the color is blossom, and it has appliques of flowers and branches. And it's made out of tulle. And it's so light. Mm -hmm. And it is also uh, talks about the, the ongoing lingerie-inspired trend that's a, has been a very big trend in wedding dresses, believe it or not. R yes, that um, that. it's like sheer, but not too sheer, and um, and this has a hint of pink in it. This has a hint of pink, and uh, which talks about the you know the new spring that we have today. Thank you, Carlotta. It's Looks very beautiful. beautiful. Thank you. And that's Alessandra. available at, I'm um, sorry, Mira's uh, dress was available at Mark Ingram. Mark also. Ingram. And here we have Inez de Santo. And this is the, the, the trend about Palazzo pants. Um, I had no idea those were pants. I know. She has to like, move around a little in. bit. And, the, and it's kind of a, has a boho feel to it. It's soft and flowy. And this would be great for a beach, actually. But it's also, it's not every girl wants to wear a dress. Mm -hmm. Not every girl wants to be a princess. And so this is a great alternative and I just think it would be amazing with the wind blowing behind it. And talk a little bit about sleeves because it seemed like strapless was all the rage for such a long time but now you're seeing more sleeve dresses. We're definitely seeing more sleeve dresses um, and I think it's basically you want to pick something that works for your body. That that just reflects you so much. But we are seeing a lot more sleeves, and it's it's a great alternative to the strapless sweetheart, which has been a trend for many years. Mm -hmm. And where is this dress available? Or the this dress is available at, uh, at Bergdorf Goodman. Bergdorf Goodman, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And Rachel, the craftsmanship that goes into these dresses is just incredible. Well, the dresses in the luxury in the luxury bridal industry are most of them are made in their own ateliers uh, in their own homes, mm -hmm. I, I mean in the shops themselves, right. um, versus you know having it shipped somewhere else uh, in another country to be all put together. And so what the Bridal Council is doing, we've partnered with the Ovation Channel and we've, we've done a whole behind the scenes of the art and crafts of the industry. And just to see all the handwork and all the... Um, it's an art. It's an art form in itself and I don't think anybody's really seen that before and we're just going to put a shine a light on it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And we have some more looks to show everybody. Let's bring back out Carlotta. Tell us about this look that she has on. This is another look from Mira Zwillinger. And what I love is the whole illusion uh, has been a strong trend. And it's a cap sleeve. And it's romantic. I was going to say romantic. Romantic, but still a little sheer. Mm -hmm. um, sparkles. And just and it has a slit in the front, but it's so lightweight. It's effortless. And I think girls today want to be in the most, del they just don't want to be bogged down mm -hmm. with too much weight. It's for this kind of girl. And again, it's in that soft, pale pink color. And it's, it's just, and I love the cap, the flowers on the cap sleeve. I love the illusion. Beautiful. Thank you, Carlotta. Thank you, Carlotta. And Alessandra is wearing a very beautiful, unique dress. This is very unique from Inez de Santos. It, it, it has 
layers of texture on it of tulle. It has this fun removable bolero cape that you could take off after your ceremony and dance away in this dress. And also it's it's also lightweight, but this is if you want to be more of a big statement and this would be incredible for a big historic home or in a garden of some sort. And again with the illusion on top. All illusion is the biggest thing we have in it, the embellishments the uh, that are sewn on. It's so delicate. It almost looks like tattoos mm -hmm. today, which is a, a very current look in, in this uh, generation of wedding dresses. It's very fascinating. And it's still sexy. Mm -hmm. And it's still, uh, but still has the, the layers of ruffled, ruffled tulle. It's just, it's a huge statement. It's this stunning line. and romantic as well. Thank also you. Romantic. Thank you, Alessandra. Tell us a little bit about the Bridal Council because this is new. The Bridal Council is only a few months old and it's a membership organization and it's designers, retail stores, mm -hmm. and members of the bridal industry and it's all about the luxury end of the industry. And we're very excited because we've never had an organization like this that addressed our needs. Mm -hmm. And so we're all going to meet and help solve things that are, you know, have been issues over the years and just hopefully make it a smoother future for everybody. And it's also, we've become such a global industry that we can help mm -hmm. um, with everybody right. exchanging information. And we have Carlotta and Alessandra back out together one more time. Beautiful. Thank you, ladies, so much for being here. And Bridal Week, open to insiders of the industry Correct. today and tomorrow. The public will see these looks Absolutely. starting next year. Next year. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, and thank you, Rachel, for being here. We so appreciate it. You're welcome. And for more information on the Bridal Council and all of this, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.